hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i was hoping that i would be able to do an unboxing of this like in my kitchen on my island but i have a house full of kids and we've been in the pool most of the day so I just want to get this up so I can start enjoying all the wonderful things from Second and Spruce owned by Erica and Slade. You guys, when I tell you that I have been having dreams about this pre-order. So this was part of the Wax Road Show that Erica from Second and Spruce was in, Travis from Knowles Farm Sense, and um, Beth from Lavender and Speckles. So they all like collaborated and did this Wax Road Show. We ordered in May and one of my two boxes showed up yesterday on Friday. Um, and then the big ginormous box, you guys, I've never gotten a box this big <laughs> from a wax order in my life of warming vendor wax. So let me just preface this by saying grab a snack grab a meal grab a drink get comfy blanket pajamas whatever this is going to be probably one of my the longest video I've ever done since I've been on YouTube I also want to say that Erica had done a pre-order in February the friends collection I was so looking forward to that pre-order. It was on February 17th that you could order. I was looking forward to that, like on the daily. Like I had lists upon lists upon lists of what I was gonna order, crossing out, changing the size, all the things, right? My mom died on February 17th. And it's funny, it's not funny, it's, weird that I've been in contact with Erica like telling her like I'm looking forward to this whatever right she was like several people in the wax community checking up on me on the daily to see like how I was doing how my mom was doing um sending prayers positive energy all all the things that I needed at that time I was not really watching wax videos. My mom was on home hospice, which I'll get into that in a different video. I'm just not strong enough right now to actually speak about that. But I know after my mom died on the 17th, I don't know if Erica had reached out to ask me how she was doing or if I messaged her to just say like, my mom had died and that I'm not gonna be partaking in the friends pre-order your brain goes to weird places after a loss honestly it does i was hyper focused on like the funeral home and like all the narcotics that we had in the home like bringing them to the police station to properly get rid of them whatever i was so upset that i missed out on this pre-order because i had made lists i was looking forward to this my mom died on February 17th. Her birthday was February 18th. So there were lots of things I felt like that were like coming at me. And I just, I didn't have enough. Um, I don't know what the right word is. My head wasn't right. And I knew I couldn't order. Now, let me also say that I did have a couple friends prior to me moving for that time period back east to care for my mom in hospice, reach out and say like, oh my God, if you want to order second spruce, like send me your list, I'll order it for you. When that day came and all that happened, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't think, I couldn't think. But then on the 18th, on my mom's actual birthday, I was like, God, why didn't I place that order? Anyway, let me just say that I knew with this Wax Road Show that when it came to Second and Spruce, that I was not going to hold back. I was going to order anything and everything that I wanted because I had missed her previous pre-order. So five minutes in, that's what I'm telling you guys. So 
one box arrived yesterday. It was super hot. And then the second box, the ginormous box, <laughs> arrived today. So I am just going to share with you guys what I got from the first box. Um, I snipped this stuff yesterday already. Like, I, I'm sorry. There's certain things I can't do, like uh, first snaps. I, I'm just... I, I, I can't. So I had ordered in this um, Wax Roadshow, she had a summer loving, um, sampler. That's what this is, you guys. This thing is, what? Yeah. So, pretty pink little ribbon around there. Um, we've been all day in the pool today with the kids, friends. Yeah. So, I'm, um, had too much fun today, probably. Pretty beautiful lemon tissue paper. Beautiful. Love that. All of her um, attention to detail, I will get into most likely in that second box. Because that was like the big box, the original. And then the second box, which is smaller, was like the overflow of things that wouldn't fit in their biggest box. I don't know whether I should be proud or ashamed. <laughs> So, Summer Loving, it was her sampler. Um, I, I feel like it was like $55. So, I'm just going to share with you guys what was in that. I think it was six mini loaves. So, Strawberry Sippin' on Summer, which is her muddled strawberry, strawberries, sugar lemonade, and ginger ale poured on 716. You guys, I smelled this yesterday because this is the smaller box that came. This is 100% ready to go. Like, and that is another, I mean, there are so many things that I love about Second and Spruce. The day you get it, you can warm it. Nothing requires a, like, you don't need to cure her stuff. Ugh. Can you cure it? Yes, because I have stuff now that I'm warming from, like, September of 2023, just because I ran out of time to warm it. Oh my gosh. So right off the bat, you get that ginger ale, followed by the strawberries, and then her lemonade. Unbelievable. Oh God, so good. So amazing. I went back and forth about getting the sampler. Kim and I were talking about like our list and stuff, and I think I had like two things that weren't on the list, and she was like, just get them. Like, why are you not ordering them? <laughs> just get them. So, this is by far, like I said, like, I think my biggest wax purchase in all the years that I've been purchasing from vendors. Um, the next mini loaf was Concession Row, which is waffle cone, cake batter, ice cream, beignets, kettle corn, sugared berry drizzle. What? So, I thought of this and I'm like, oh, that's probably going to be like Circus Concession, which I'm not the biggest fan of. You guys, this is cake batter and like kind of like a cinnamon sugar, like donut, but not, not craft store cinnamon. This is freaking amazing. I am going to love, love, love this in like October, November for sure. This was poured... July 18th. Yeah, I, this is amazing. I love this. And I'm shocked. Yeah, see my nail? I had to go, I have it like an infection in one of my fingernails and they were like taking off. It doesn't matter. Anyway, that's why they look scuzzy. Sunset Beach. Um, is it pronounced Delicia Drench? The Chirosa 59. Plus toasted marshmallow, plus ocean breeze, poured 717. So this is one that Kim Hart's organizing um, helped Erica with. Had a, like she gave her input, in, she gave her input about this. So I think that this has like the violets. This is beautiful. And you guys, I smelled this body spray in Sephora, I want to say. March, April, 
I don't know. And I didn't love the body spray. This is absolutely beautiful. I think this probably was the reason that I got the sampler. was because I knew Kim had something to do with this. Um, Sunset Beach. Wow. This is 100%. I'll be warming this um, in August. Yeah. Her stuff, that you don't, it doesn't need a year cure time. It's like good to go. Hits that warmer. As soon as it starts melting, you get fragrance. This is Coco Cabana. It's Coco Cabana Cream. Brazilian Crush Charosa 39. Is that really 39 or 79? I don't know. Shea Almond Milk Coconut Milk. Port 717. Oh. Oh, beautiful. And that's the bottom. Magnificent. Now, if you guys don't know, Second and Spruce Wax is soft. 100% a fan of that. Um, I love not a whole lot of effort. As soon as somebody's like, oh, I had to microwave the wax in order to cut it. I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I don't need that. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Then we have Magic Whip. Okay. I have bought from numerous vendors the Dole Whip. What they say is like the Dole Whip from Disney World or Disneyland. And it is so, um, I don't, sour and like bitter to me. You guys, this is authentic. This is Pineapple Whip. Orange cream skull, coconut milk, lemon sugar, waffle cone, waffle cone crumbles. Pour it on 718. Yeah. This. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, this is out of this world. You straight up, as soon as you snap, upon opening that bag, you get that orange cream skull. I am a hundred percent here for that. That is an amazing. Oh my gosh, amazing scent. You get a hint of the pineapple, which I'm 100% okay with. Not the biggest pineapple fan. Um, the lemon sugar, the waffle cone. Oh, it is, this is a, like, I don't know, round trip ticket. This is amazing. This was one that I was 100% unsure about. Just because I'm not a pineapple fan. Unbelievable. Oh, I hope that you guys picked up the sampler. And then the last of the loaves, so it was six loaves, is polka dot bikini, what the melon rita, salty sea air, and Hawaiian tropic. Um, yes. I love the what the melon rita. Hawaiian tropic is something that I've been familiar with since I was a teenager. Simply, this is like the best. Uh, and I am not, um, Salty Sea Air is very hard with me. It, a lot of vendors, Salty Sea Air, I don't know if it's, if they all use the same or the way that they blend it. It's, it makes me very nauseous. Oh my gosh, you guys. Freaking stunning. Stunning. Again, a reminder, please get a snack, a meal, a drink, a blanket, something. This is going to be long. So good. Unbelievably good. I'm so sorry about my fingernail. Then she said with that sampler that you were going to get two full-size, like, fun scents. So we had no idea. Um... And you guys, I'm blown away. Blown away. This is Grape Gumball Gumball Machine. Oh my gosh. Who remembers all like the gumballs? Like five cents. A penny. I know I'm old. As a kid at the grocery store when you're leaving with your mom. This is grape Kool-Aid, bubble gum, and a hint of strawberry. Not a grape fan by any means, but you guys, this smells like try to push this out the powder of the grape kool-aid 
um, yes, <laughs> I'm gonna try to hide my nail. For somebody that does not like grape in wax, this is so authentic and true. I, yeah. Now, I don't know where I'm going to warm this. If it would be like upstairs in the loft, like where the kids like video game and watch movies. Or if I would warm this like in my open space. I, I don't know. But talk about like bringing back like childhood memories. That's what it does. And I'm sorry about my iPad. There's nothing I can do about that. And the other full size um, clam that she included was campfire root beer. Root beer, smoked vanilla, ice cream, and a hint of campfire mallow. You guys, again, not a root beer person. I smelled this and it instantly, instantly brought me back to a birthday party down the street where I lived in New York at a party, a birthday party for a friend when I was like seven years old. I think he was turning eight. <sighs> Sitting out on their like patio having like a birthday party with soda. I don't know if it was mug root beer, but it was definitely, he was a July, July or August kid. Ugh. This is what this smells like. This is real, real, real root beer. That's where that brought me to. And I love it. Again, is root beer something that I look to order? No. But man, what a flashback to those memories. I felt like I was back there. On, they lived, their house was on the corner at the end of my street. That's where I was as a seven-year-old. Yes. Okay. And then... A couple samples were in here, one being Lost at Sea, which is Ocean Waves, Sea Breeze, Grassy Dunes, and Dark Berries. You guys, again, growing up on Long Island, being super close to Jones Beach, going to the Jersey Shore, going to Long Beach, going to the Hamptons even. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Because, and even living in Massachusetts, being so close to the water, here I am in Arizona. You got to go to California. This is beautiful. Beautiful. She sells seashells, fresh ozone, sea breeze, ocean waters, and a hint of coconut. You guys, I get the coconut as soon as I smell this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And that ozone and like a sea salty note, which must be the sea breeze and the ocean waters. Oh, stunning. August. I'm coming for you. <laughs> All right, so that was in this bag. Tied with a lovely ribbon. And then I'm just going to keep going with a smaller bag. Because I want to mark stuff off of my invoice. She does send an invoice. Um, which mine was three dang pages long. Um... Yeah, we have a lot here. There's a lot. So this next one is Haunted Carnival Nights. So I just want to be able to check these off as we go. Um, let me see. Because let me say, if I didn't already, as soon as this came, I just put it in my deep, like, refrigerator. Excuse me. Haunted Carnival Nights. Okay. It is Caramel Apple Funnel Cake um, MFS. Oh my gosh. Something Fireside. Marshmallow Fireside. Cotton Candy. Dark Berries. Extra Hint of Smoke. I feel like this was a new a new one. Oh my gosh. You definitely you get those Caramel Apples like right up in your face and I do get like dark berries this is two-tone oh my god wow and you get that smoke not like houses on fire smoke just like cozy um like 
outside fire. Oh, this is so good. Jeez. You guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Haunted Carnival Nights. Then we have Dark Nights, which I have had before. I got that in a mini loaf. And that's Blackberry, Malo Fireside, Palo Santo, and Vanilla Bean Malo. I'm sorry about my fingernail. Okay, so I will say this. And this is what this looks like. I think I've had this in snap bars from her before. So her blackberry. Oh, golly. So two-tone. And I'm like making indents in this. So taking it out. Her blackberry is, I would say, exactly like um, Rose Girls. Where when I smell the blackberry, it comes across as grape bubble yum. Not authentic grape, but gum, like hubba bubba, bubblicious, whatever. But you warm it and it's 100% blackberries. This is amazing. I love this scent. I am so beyond happy to have some more back with me because I loved this the first time I tried it. Amazing. All right. Then we have... This was one that I went back and forth about and I wasn't going to order it. And Kim was like, just get it. You're ordering like everything else. Just get it. This is Salad Queen Ice Cream. So let me just find it on here. Okay. So Salad Queen Ice Cream is strawberry jello, cheesecake, birthday cake, pretzel, malo fluff, and vanilla ice cream. So strawberry pretzel salad is a real thing. That's like an actual, like, food, like, recipe. I've never had it before in my life. The thought of, like, strawberry and pretzels together, what? Ugh, her strawberry is, like, off the charts amazing. It's about as realistic to strawberries, I feel like, that you would get. I know it says strawberry jello. Oh, my God, it's so good. Cheesecake, I don't know that I get that. Birthday cake. I get a bakery. Pretzel, yes. This is a real, like, food thing. So, if I was ever invited somewhere, I didn't grow up with anybody ever making, like, strawberry pretzel salad. That just, that didn't exist in my, in my life. I would have stayed away from it, but now, like, seeing this and smelling this, if the way that it tastes is, like, how this smells, yeah, this, I would eat this at a cookout. Sure would. Kids in the kitchen. Let me just mark that off. Another one that I was kind of like, eh, not the biggest um, cereal person. It's Captain Crunch Berries, strawberry pound cake, marshmallow treats, buttercream, and sugared cookie. What does that say? Sugared cookies poured June 30th. You guys, yeah, I like this. It's, I know that this is weird, but it's a, like a kid's cereal done with like a level of, um, like sophistication <laughs> and super pretty. Again, sorry about my horrific nails. Oh my God. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, I mean, we're 23 minutes in and we have not even, like, touched <laughs> on all of this. Kids in the kitchen. That is so good. Any time of year. Looking forward to that. This was the other one that I went back and forth about. Coffee with Graham. And I'll tell you why. Let me just, Coffee with Graham. Um, house coffee beans, which I love Erica's coffees. All of her coffees I've tried. Yes, they're my favorites. Hands down. Love them. They blow me away when I smell them. That I feel like I hold every vendor's to her coffee. So I'm back and forth about this because of the hazelnut. White? No. I should have bought this in a bigger size. And it has bear claw, which 
I've had it from other vendors. I'm like, nah. It kind of leaves me a little unimpressed. You guys, this, I want to warm this tomorrow. And it has pie crust. So it has house coffee beans, bear claw, hazelnut cream, and pie crust. Stop it now. I want to hold off and wait for this. Wait for this. Wait to melt this until the fall. I, no. Mm -mm. I don't know. What was I thinking? It's because this is one that I questioned. Like, do I really need this? I'm not reaching for coffee as much. Yeah, you did need it, and you should have got a bigger size. Catching Z's. All right, where are you? Catching Z's. This is House Lavender, Coconut Milk, Santal, Pink Sugar, and Cookie Bomb. Again, cord 714. This is, like, ready. This could go in my warmer now and be fine. 100%. Like, I don't know. It just, it doesn't need a year. It doesn't even need, like, weeks. Now, we all have a lot of wax, so will stuff sit? Yes. But I want to be able to warm stuff when I want to be able to warm stuff. And you guys, this is amazing. This would be more likely one that I would warm, like, in my bedroom. Without a doubt. Again, it's 107 degrees here. Stuff gets smeared, plus I've smelled it. I don't know, seven times already. So, that's not on Erica. That is Arizona. And then, she did a, if you ordered in this Wax Roadshow, she put in something extra. Um, like, what did she say? I don't know. Like, love wax, share wax, or something. I I'm not sure. So she said you could get like a clam, a loaf. Uh, she was just putting an extra in. So I was like, did I order this? This is Moon Dance Diner. So this is from the Friends collection that she did in February. This is Donuts After Dark, French Toast, and Berry Muffin. Pour 227. So Moon Dance... Oh my God. Moon Dance Diner is where Monica worked. <laughs> like at the first like season or a couple episodes of Friends, right? Where she like had to dress up. This does smell like a, like New Jersey, New York City, Long Island diner. When you walk in, especially like in the fall or winter, and it's so cold out and you walk, step in and it's like heated, they have the heat on and you get all that bakery and cooking Oh my gosh, so good. Unbelievable. So that was like a super kind, um, oh my fingernail, extra. Love it. Cannot wait to warm that. That one, I will probably wait until like, I don't know, December, January to warm it just because it's so hot here. All right. So you guys, this box is so ginormous. I, I'm not even going to show it, but I will say if I didn't already, yes, I did say the lemon, um, tissue paper and her social media. So get social with us, all the places to find second and spruce. And then, um, Thank you for supporting our small business. Happy melting. Um, plus, you get an invoice, and she put something personal on it, which, you know, it is what it is. And you guys, this plastic polypropylene, uh, is that the right word? And this is a magnet. White. Second and Spruce Handcrafted Wax Show 2024. Stop. Please stop. Oh, my God. And, you guys, because I did not partake, Erica is very kind, thoughtful, 
considerate, caring, perfectionist, wants to please everybody. I know what that's like. <laughs> this almost made my heart stop beating when I saw this um, in my order. She put one of her stickers of like... I've never seen this before. Uh, that's not what I meant. It's get a cake bite. So this went with, I mean, I have not had one of these before because I did not partake in the February pre-order. This is going to go in my planner. This, I was like, why? I'm very emotional these days. How unbelievably thoughtful and kind. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. <sighs> Freaking sticker. Yeah, it's like that just sent me. So a bazillion, bazillion, bazillion um, worms. And I took tons of them out. But when this got delivered to my door, because my parcel box right outside my house, it this box was too big to fit in there. But the mailman had to bring it to my door. <laughs> The second it was delivered, like my alarm thing went off that the a delivery went out and got it, put it right inside like my deep um, refrigerator and I kept it in there because we were having a pool day and that's what I did. So let us start. I'm going to start with tubs. I've never had a tub from a second and spruce and I am beyond excited. Okay. So I don't even know. All right, let me try to get to where I need to be. Um, you guys, I don't even know this. I feel like she, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't smelled anything from the second box and I'm like losing my mind. Okay, so buttermint, milk, and cookies in the tubs. I ordered two of these. There was no way that I was not getting my hands on this. Her labels, like everything, help me. Um, milk and cookies plus buttermint. That is like a no-brainer. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I might... Shit. <laughs> Stop. What? You guys, I can't. I can't. Oh my God, that buttermint and her milk and cookies. Oh, for all things. Her wax is very soft, which I appreciate because I feel like it works as like a, uh, a hand lotion to me. Amazing. I should have got 30 of these. Milk and cookies plus buttermint. Buttermint, milk and cookies. Stop. We're going to run out of room. No doubt. All right. Just reaching in and going. This is Carnival Creamery in the tubs. It's berry waffle cone, summer scoops, strawberry pound cake, juicy peach, vanilla ice cream, and birthday cake. Poured June 26th. That is what that looks like. Yeah, I was just like, I am not restricting myself because I missed out in February. I don't know if these will pop out. Oh, gosh. This is a summer spectacular. Wow. So I smell, her peach is freaking delicious. That juicy peach with the vanilla ice cream, the bakeriness, the strawberry pound cake. I'm thinking I'm getting more berry waffle cone than I am summer scoop, but I sometimes confuse things. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is like August. Ugh. Carnival Creamery. What? All right, today, Carnival Creamery. Okay, let's reach in and continue going. There's still lots of worms here. Beach Party Pooper. Did I get one of these? Sorry, I'm just trying to, you have to be a patient person. 
to follow along um, because I don't know what in the gosh darn that I ordered. Um, beach party pooper. Where are you? There you are. Okay. I ordered one of these. So it is beach party, which is BN type, sweet lavender, strawberry pound cake, sugar cookies, buttercream, and hints of strawberry puree. Stop. Gorgeous. Did I mention that it was 107 here today? Wow. Okay, so I get that sweet lavender. That is what I'm smelling. Sweet lavender and strawberry. Beautiful. Look at the little cute beach chair with the Z's. Oh my gosh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, then I have, I'm going to Paris. Let me find you. I'm going to Paris, okay. So this is sweet on Paris, strawberry pound cake, pistachio, pistachio, and almond macarons. Poured six three. Oh, wow. I get that pistachio and almond macarons. And not the sweet on Paris or the strawberry pound cake right off. Okay, strawberry on the bottom, I'm smelling, which is just probably, oh my God, you guys, what? Amazing. Oh, this is delicious. Poured on June 3rd. Yeah, like everything is like ready to go as far as I'm concerned. Look at that adorable label with the macarons and the Eiffel Tower. Stop. I. I I've had dreams about this order. <laughs> okay, up all night. Let me just find you so I can mark you off. I feel like totally like a kid on Christmas. All right, up all night is MFS. Marshmallow Fireside. P.S. I don't know what's P.S. P.S. Pistachio. I, I don't know. You guys help me. I, my brain's not thinking. Roasted pine cones, warm vanilla sugar, and pink sugar and cashmere cream. What is P.S.? Oh, my God. Pink sugar, I bet. <sighs> wow. The roasted pine cones. Yes. My stomach's growling. It's past dinner time. Marshmallow Fireside. Cashmere cream. Let me pop this out. Oh, gosh. Oh, more of the pine cones, the roasted pine cones. You guys, this is... Oh, I hope you got all of this, but for those roasted pine cone lovers, oh, I... I hope you got this. This is unbelievable. Wow, wow, wow. They all are. Like, I have zero regrets about getting everything. I feel like I have, like, hardly anything left from Second and Spruce. I have, like, one or two, maybe three, like, snap bars from the fall. I get her stuff. I warm it. I love it. I want more of it. I have issues. For sure. Okay, this is um, 21. This one I knew I definitely wanted. I wanted everything. I wanted multiples of everything. Okay, let me just mark that off. 21, which this totally makes sense. So it's lime, margarita, mango sorbet, and raspberry jam. I love her raspberry jam. Now, other vendors have her raspberry jam. Use the same raspberry jam oil. Hers is like so strong and I love it because, jeez Louise. Uh, okay, so 
selling this without popping it out, you get the lime margarita and you get the mango sorbet. I'm not really smelling raspberry. I'm trying to pop this out. Oh my gosh, on the bottom I get more mango sorbet and the raspberry. What? This is amazing. That is me <clears throat> with my big ginormous hands, like popping that out. 21 again oh my gosh you guys i hope that everybody like went all in for this i understand if you could not but wow okay this is sorry there's some little wormies stuck um carnival week cupcakes let me find you please i appreciate your patience carnival week cupcakes okay so this is pink lemonade, lemon drop cookies, vanilla cupcakes, cotton candy, buttercream, no wait, cotton candy, comma, buttercream, and raspberry drizzle. Pour it at 712. This, yes, it's like going to a carnival, and this wax looks straight up like pink lemonade. Oh my gosh, so what am I smelling? I am smelling vanilla cupcakes, cotton candy, buttercream on the top, 100%. Let me pop this out. Oh my gosh, pink lemonade, lemon drop. Wow. You guys, these are hefty, hefty. Like, these are heavy holding these tubs. I. Wow. Amazing. That's... I just, I just don't even, I, I don't have words. Salty when wet. I remember being like, I have to 100% get that. Because I was at first like, okay, maybe I won't need to get everything. Maybe I'll be able to, you know, I don't know, be strict with myself when ordering so that is salty when wet. It is fresh rain, salty sea air, and fresh berries. Poured 712. That is the gorgeousness of it. Oh my gosh, that salty sea air. I'm smelling on the bottom. Yes, very, very salty sea air. Berry note. I don't know what her fresh rain is exactly, but yes, this is like rain on a summer day. Like it's super, super hot and humid out and it has rained and it's that like pink, that wet, I want to say like sidewalk smell to me, but you guys, I live for freaking rainy days, especially since moving here because they are few and far between that I just like... I'm constantly like smelling the air when it rains. Oh my gosh, amazing. Salty when wet. Again, you guys, this is the problem. Like, what do you warm first? What do you, where do you go with all of this? Oh my gosh, there's more. Tea at the Grove. Okay, I was so super excited about this one. I mean, I'm excited about all of them. Let me just find this. Where are you? Patience, please. Tea at the Grove. Yes. Okay. This is green tea, lemon, hints of lime, and musk under the lemon tree. Which, is that a, is that replica under the lemon tree? Somebody will know. And then white tea. This is poured on June 2nd. Is under the lemon tree a replica? Is that, am I thinking the right thing? Oh my God, stop. Please stop. I don't even have words for this. This is green tea. You get the green tea straight up. Please pop out. Oh my gosh, this is something. This could be like my signature like house scent. Like, Oh, this smells like your house when we go somewhere else. Like, this is amazing. Lemon, the lime. 
a little bit of musk, the white tea, the green tea. I should have got like 30, 30 of these. Oh my gosh, Erica, please, please. This is amazing. Tea at the Grove, yeah. Uh, all year, all year, every place in my house. This is like speaking to my heart. I love that. I love it. This is so much stuff. Again, if you need to stop, stretch your legs out. This is Ozzy Paw Burns Sweet Shop plus coconut cream pie. So the Ozzy's Ozzy Paw Bar Paw Burns is April Lee. Like that was a scent that she came up with. So it's strawberry pound cake, toasted coconut, mallow fluff coconut cream pie. Oh my gosh, my mouth's watering. And I probably have um, wax and um, wormies from the box all over my face, but we're here for the wax. Poured 612. Oh my gosh, that tea. Tea at the Grove. I can't stop. Oh my gosh, that has a little paw. Do you see that? Stop. Okay, so 100% I'm getting the toasted coconut and the coconut cream pie on the top. Yeah, massive coconut, like in the delicious, most delicious way. As you hear me inhaling my wax. Strawberry pound cake, I'm not smelling it right this very second. But you guys, put that stuff in the warmers. Everything, everything comes to life with Erica's wax. Okay. Then I got two of Santa's Beach Party. Which let me just mark that off. Where are you? Santa's Beach Party. Yes, two. Okay, so Santa's Beach Party. Ugh. Beach Party, which is um, her take on Beach Nights. Marshmallow Fireside. Pine Boughs. Boughs? Yeah, pine boughs and roasted pine cones and sugar cookies. Poured six nine of twenty twenty four. Look at that stinking label. I love her tubs. Super sturdy. Okay, so for upon first sniffs, what do I get? The pine boughs and the roasted pine cones. Not really smelling beach nights. Oh my gosh, look at the bottom of this. Christmas. Okay, the bottom, I'm getting a little bit more of her beach nights and the sugar cookies. Oh my gosh. I have no words. Seeing this beach party. Zero regrets for getting two tubs of this. I honestly, if I had it, I could just, I could melt second and spruce every day, all day and be good. I feel like that's where I am kind of right now. Um, that stuff goes into the warmers, any warmer, any warmer, Scentsy warmers, Walmart war warmers. I don't have to move warmers. I don't have to not warm in certain warmers with her stuff. I can warm it as soon as I get it. I get fantastic performance. It, to me, it's like, it, it's a no-brainer. And I know everybody's homes are different. And what performs fabulous for me may not for you. And I get that because I have the same thing with vendors that people go on and on. And then I warm it and I'm like, yeah, it's just not like work. It doesn't work in my house. But since day one of getting Second and Spruce, I've been in love. That's, that's all. Okay, jamming cookie dough. Cookie dough. Let me find you. Jamming cookie dough. Got one of these. And this is jamming, which is her raspberry jam and her buttered her buttered toast mixed with cookie dough. Poured May twenty eighth. Guys, look at that. The little toast. 
again, super long video. I'm not, I'm not even going to apologize. Like, yes, yes, yes. To that freaking raspberry jam and the buttered toast. Yes. Oh my gosh, more raspberry jam and the cookie dough. Stop. I just, if I had a bed to myself, I would put this box next to me in my bed and just like wake up during the night and like sniff this wax. That's okay. Tiffany's at the fair. All right, let me find you, Tiffany. Tiffany's at the fair. Okay. Look at how beautiful that is. Um, cupcakes at Tiffany's. <laughs> Raspberry jam. Strawberry pound cake. Pretzel and kettle corn. Not the biggest popcorn person in wax, but I do like kettle corn like in real life. Oh my gosh. Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Delicious absolutely delicious again any time of year for me with this wow not really getting a ton of the pretzel or the kettle corn which i'm okay with that tiffany's at the fair oh my gosh i that's so delicious <laughs> all right what else do we have you guys Kind of a monkey. There's a um I should have like maybe gone through some of this. I think this is all the I think this is all the tubs. Alright, so I have Key West cake. Plus strawberry pound cake. So it is Key West cake, which is key lime pie, lemon pound cake, and birthday cake. And then plus strawberry pound cake. Poured June 9th. What that says? No, June 5th. Oh my gosh, I can't read. We were like in the pool for like five hours. Oh, that Key West cake, the Key Lime Pie, lemon pound cake, has my mouth watering. Like, oh my gosh, guys. I'm just going to melt this whenever I want to, like August, September, I, I tomorrow, I don't know. I'm not intentionally going to save anything for 2025 is what I'm getting at. Lemon milk and cookies. I feel like I have two of those. I sure do. So it's her milk and cookies, creamy lemon filling, and lemon buttercream. Poured at 713. Let me just find these so I can mark them off. Lemon milk and cookies. Yes, two. Okay. Love a good lemon. Oh, this is delicious. Like lemon almost like a sugar cookie that then you made a fresh homemade not out of the jar lemon like a drizzle to go over it with like fresh lemon and like confectionery sugar that is what this is i can't please pop out yeah this smells edible oh, rich creamy mouth-watering lemon And that buttercream over the top, delicious, decadent, scrumptious. I'm out of words. So I, I did. I got two of those because see two. All right, what do we have next? Night Patrol. One tub of that. And Night Patrol is Bold Coffee, Vanilla Crunch Donuts, and Campfire Malo. I don't know if this one's new. I've tried a lot of her coffees. Oh my gosh. Yeah, delicious coffee bakery. 
the donuts, the coffee, poured five twenty-eight. Night Patrol. Oh my gosh, you guys. Two-tone. Oh, just a delicious combination of the coffee and the donuts. Rich, strong. And you get that, like, I definitely get vanilla on the bottom. Oh, amazing. Jeez. This is very tough as far as um, trying to decide what I want to melt first. Plus, I'm following the um, wax challenge. And now I need to get some water. I'm very sorry for that. Okay, what else do we have? Um, Mermaids and Montauk. Oh, I had to get this. Had to. Um, all right, where are you on here? One top of that. So, Mermaids and Montauk is Rosemary Mint, Salty Sea Air, Toasted Malo. I love, love, love Rosemary Mint. That's what the label looks like. The little mermaid tails. Um, oh my gosh, beautiful. Oh, that ra that raspberry. Stop it. That rosemary mint is beautiful. It's soothing. It's calming. It's relaxing. And then it has a salty sea air on the toasted malo. You guys, for a second smelling this, just when I kind of like quickly sniff over the bottom, it gives me a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of Thin Mint Cookies from Girl Scouts. Just a little bit. Like, where I feel like... I don't know if it would smell like that when warming. Like, if it would feel or smell like a bakery. But I get a tiny little bit of that. Okay. Where There's Smoke and Palo Santo. By the Fireplace. Malo Fireside. Smoked Vanilla. Sugar Cookie. And Palo Santo. Poured June 23rd. And you guys, this... I know people got samples, I feel like, in the Friends, the February pre-order. And I have not heard one person say that they did not love this. I had to get this. This has, like, a, like, marbled, like, tie-dye kind of look to it. Oh, this is smoky gorgeousness. That fireside, the by the fireplace... The smoked vanilla. This is like sitting outside at our little fire when it actually gets cold. Ugh, on a cold, like, winter night, which it doesn't get super cold here, but it will give me those vibes. <laughs> oh my gosh. The hype on this. Yes, 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 and yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, where are we now? Lavender Sweet. Okay, so Lavender Sweet, where are you? Let me check you off. Where there's smoke. Am I done with this one? No. Oh, there you are. So my check marks are so ginormous that I can't even see what I've checked off. So lavender sweet is sweet lavender, vanilla cream, buttercream, sugar cookie, and pie crust. So I am curious. I should have asked Erica this. When she first opened, she had a lavender that I tried. I don't know if it was this and then it's been renamed. I don't feel like it was called lavender sweet. You guys... You 100% get that sugar cookie and buttercream. So it is a, like, lavender bakery, which I thought it was just going to be... Oh, my gosh. I thought this was going to be, like, very, like, lavender heavy. 
with like the sweet notes, but you get a lot of bakery with this and that beautiful, like the lavender sprigs in there. Wow. Yeah, like I would warm this in my kitchen, my living room, my dining room. This is definitely open concept worthy and would do fantastic like at nighttime or I don't know, like doing chores throughout the house. What a beautiful scent. I'm just curious, did I try that? Did I say it had pie crust? It has pie crust. Okay. Um, what else? Do I have any more for tubs? I don't think so. Okay, so we have some more mini loaves. Which again, remember it was super freaking hot here. So stuff, if Erica is watching, look away because... It's a little smeared, but it's 107 degrees here. It has nothing <laughs> to do with um, second and spruce. Okay, so jamming java. Let me just mark that off. This is in a mini loaf. It is jamming, jamming, which is raspberry jam, butter toast, house coffee, beans. Did I order this in here? I feel like I did, you guys. And then I thought I needed more. No, oh, that's Jimmy. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Anyway. Her raspberry jam. I, it's the strongest. I've had the same raspberry jam from a very well-known um, vendor that, like, closed at the end of the of 2023 and then has like come back multiple times like in 2024 and this is her the same raspberry jam but you guys you don't have to wait a year to warm this this is like strong right out the gate this was poured 525 and this is like booming with scent oh my gosh this is so good it's a little mini loaf it's hot. This went into my refrigerator. I'm just smelling it now, so I'm just jamming Java stuff. Okay, fried dough. I just finished up a snack bar in fried dough. Her fried dough is amazing. I feel like even if you're not like a fried dough person, it's fried dough, flaky crust, cinnamon, brown sugar. It is carnival season all over the U.S. of A. Ah, uh, yes. That is what this is. This is fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, it's a delicious bakery cinnamon, that fried dough, that flaky crust, like, uh, like the flaky dough, I can't think of the word, that you use, like, if you've ever made, like, baklava. Why can't I think of what that's called? Is it just flaky, like a flaky pastry? I don't know. Delicious. Happy to have another one of these for fall, for winter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, maybe this is it. <laughs> Backyard bungalow, swimming pool, fresh towel, sipping on summer, hint of sweet berries. I've been dying to smell this because of a swimming pool, port 614. You guys, that is the, the label. Please remember 107 degrees. Nothing was melted. I basically opened the top of this and it went into my deep like refrigerator that my husband converted from a freezer into a refrigerator. Oh, this is so good. The towel, the fresh towels, the sipping on summer, which is like her lemonade and ginger ale. The berry note it doesn't, when I think of swimming pool, I think chlorine. This is not a chemical smell. It's beautiful. And you guys, look at that. It's like a pool. Oh, goodness gracious. I know over an hour, you guys. I appreciate you. This is definitely worth it. Um, I'm just blown, I'm just blown away, blown away. And I had to share every single thing with you. 
All right, summer PJs. Summer PJs. Let me mark that off. Summer PJs is white clouds, which is in lingerie, uh, coconut milk, sugared citrus, and ocean mist. Poured at seven fourteen. Ooh. Okay, so that white clouds with the sugared citrus and the ocean mist. Oh, so pretty. Like easy breezy, like hot summer nights. The windows open, got your fresh jammies on as a kid. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's so, so pretty. Fresh, clean, clean house. Like after hosting like a dinner party, maybe and you have all those food smells, like maybe the next morning. Oh gosh. Should have got a tub in this. I mean, I should have got tubs in probably everything. I'm not smelling a lot of the coconut milk on cold, but let's remember this was just poured at 714. All right. Then I have wax besties. I'll just mark that off. All right, Wax Besties is pink chiffon, buttercream, lemon cream cake, and dusting of pink sugar. Poured 7-2. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, sorry, that was a little preoccupied. Oh gosh. Guys. It just gets, like, better and better. Like, I'm just going to keep... There's not one thing in here that I have not liked. Ooh, that buttercream. Front and center. Lemon cream cake. I'm not really smelling the pink sugar. And pink chiffon, I feel like, is just kind of, like, blending in with the, um... With the buttercream. I mean, the lemon... The lemon dream cake. Oh, definitely delicious, like... Bakery lemon. Your mom or grandma made a homemade lemon cake. That's what this is. Yes. Totally 100%. Um, sorry about the wax besties. You guys in love. Right, let me just make sure that that is everything. There are so many wormy worms. Let me just double check my invoice. To make sure that I've checked everything off. Yes, back here at Bungalow we had. Yep, okay, so you guys. Erica is an amazing person. She knew that I was like very sad about the pre-order for the friends. She sent me a few extras and I am just absolutely blown away with her generosity, kindness, her heart of gold. Um, I didn't ask for anything. Um, so I'm just going to share with what she sent with me just out of the kindness of, of her heart. Truly. This is smoked eggnog. It's eggnog, malo fireside, and smoked vanilla. I don't think I've had this. I think I've had other eggnogs. Oh my gosh, definitely like smoky, like boozy eggnog. I can't think of the name of it. I don't know if it's called like, if it's like Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog. You can buy like, I mean, we can buy booze here at like Walmart, our grocery store. Like you don't have to go to like a package store, like a booze, like a liquor store. Like I did when I lived back east. This smells like that Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog. <laughs> but you're out like by a, by your fire drinking it with your hat and your winter coat. Oh, this is delicious. Poured in January. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm not crying. Um, the best nap ever. Sweet Lavender, Palo Santo, Pink Sugar, Cookie Bomb, Lemon Drop Cookies. Poured in March. Everybody that got this. I watched every, like, all the hauls. Everybody loved this. 
and then watching like post like warm reviews everybody loved this oh my gosh best snap ever joey and ross right oh gosh that lemon drop cookies i that's amazing with the pink sugar and that gorgeous like authentic authentic lavender love it guys i just like i can't And I'm like, oh, I have room for second and spruce because I have a drawer, which is what I put. Yeah, this stuff isn't fitting in there. Okay. Gingerbread Village and Winter White Woods. Gingerbread Village layered with Winter White Woods type. Yeah, so I did not have this. I don't feel like. I had like Tipsy. Was it Tipsy Ginger Man? Gingerbread Man. Oh my gosh, this is wow oh my gosh that white woods winter white woods type wow that is strong that is there the bottom is that and then that the gingerbread holy toledo this is going to be like blow the roof off your house strong when i warm this like december 1st <laughs> Seriously, holy, 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 with my gross fingernails. And then cake bites, you guys. These are hefty, hefty, hefty. This is I Take the Rachel, which is so funny when I was taking care of my mom. I don't want to say taking care of. When I was with my mom um, on the East Coast in ho home hospice, um, we watched Friends so often we watch friends we watch a lot of like law and order house hunters my mom watched a lot of friends when she was in the hospital up in albany she made it very clear to me that she did not like rachel and i'm like mom do you not like rachel or do you not like jennifer anison and she's like oh i just don't like her so i don't know but isn't that funny i take the rachel candied violets wedding cake and buttercream this is sinfully delicious gorgeous look at that i have ginormous hands stop you guys i the kindness that has been shown to me always always in the wax community but when i was struggling which i definitely still am um the people that showed up and asked how I was doing and messaged me and said like it's okay if you don't respond back I just want you to know that I'm thinking of you I replay all of that in my head and read through text messages and emails and stuff like that it continues to carry me <laughs> um yeah people just checking in acknowledging <laughs> You know, that like you're going through something and saying like, I'm thinking of you or whatever. Amazing. I take the Rachel. Beautiful. And then almond macaron. Almonds, amaretto, and vanilla sugar. Vanilla, comma, sugar. Poured in April. Again, in the damn cake bite, you guys. This I can smell without even opening the bag. And it's not leaching. The scent's not leaching out of the bag. It's just in here. Like, I can smell a lot of wax in, in the plastic bag. This is beautiful. It is... Oh, my gosh. It is wax safe. Wow. That amaretto, that almond. The creaminess from the vanilla. That sweet sugar. Oh, my dear Lord. Amazing. I am... overwhelmed um shocked as I always am by Erica's wax like we know how beautiful stuff is gonna come we just I mean the presentation just opening this box is like opening stuff from her from Erica from second and spruce gives me that same like rush and like feeling think back to the, your first ever vendor wax purchase 
and the anticipation and the feels that you felt. So I'm talking 10 years ago was the first time I ever bought Fender Wax. This, her wax gives that to me. Every time I open it, it's like my heart like races. <laughs> um, Almond Macaron, amazing. You guys, fall for sure, unless it cools down here. I am just over the top, impressed, pleased, happy, satisfied. Can't even, I, I can't even form a sentence. Everything smells amazing. I cannot pick a favorite. Yes, I know this is a very large order. The biggest order I've ever made in my history of shopping vendor wax. But I told myself it was okay. <laughs> it was okay to go nuts because I missed out in February. And I have zero regrets. Zero. Am I going to be better moving forward ordering vendor wax? Yes. Am I going to go on a no buy and not buy second and spruce? No. No. I make exceptions for my like no buy, low buy. She will always be an exception. This was amazing. Erica, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. I I just I don't even have words. Now I have to put this stuff away. <laughs> um first world problems and decide what I'm going to pick and warm tomorrow. If you guys want to leave a suggestion of something that you think I should melt tomorrow, I would love to hear from you. Again, I cannot wait. I've been not watching any Second and Spruce videos because I just wanted to get through all of mine, sniff everything, look at everything. Now I'm going to have to go search and find some so that I can watch other people's hauls. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you're having an amazing, wonderful weekend that you are warming your wax, loving it and, um, having an amazing summer. Thank you guys so very much. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.